of the kind of work we're doing together. So, uh, Citizen Action, I want everybody who spoke to be behind me. Uh, Warren, can you bring your folks over? This is a campaign about community, coming together, united. If you can stand behind me, I want to deliver what I'm going to tell you today for the reasons that I'm running for City Council. My name is Carlos Menchaca. And I'm very proud to be here before you. I was raised by a single mother who came from Mexico to give me a better life. I was raised in public housing. I will never forget where I came from. I went to public schools. Thank goodness I had a third grade teacher that followed me all the way through high school and made sure I graduated and went to university, making me the first person in my family to go to university. I'm proud to be a public servant working here in the city of New York for many, many years for Borough President Marty Markowitz and the city council speaker, increasing access to communities who often feel invisible to government. I'm gay. I'm Latino. I'm Mexican-American. I'm proud of my heritage. And it's, and it's for all these reasons that I'm here before you today to announce my bid to run for the city council seat in the 38th district and be your leader. You know, it's actually very difficult to believe that we just started this four months ago. If you can believe that. We have built the most incredible, impressive coalition that's going to come out and work for us to win this fight. This is a community that has many needs. This is a community that is incredibly diverse with so many so many people. But this is also a community that has been neglected by a council member, Sarah Gonzalez. And we need new leadership. From Red Hook to the Bay Ridge Towers to Sunset Park, where we are today, I have continued to hear as we knock on doors that people want change. People want a leader that is visible, that is vocal, that fights for the things that they that they care about, that they that matters to them and their families. I will be that leader. Yeah. You know, we, parents want better schools, and together we're going to fight for better schools so we can solve our overcrowding issues. Youth want programs after school programs, summer youth programs, together we'll fight in the city council for our fair share in the city's budget. <laughs> Families want affordable housing, real affordable housing. Together we will be in the city council to fight for funding. And they want jobs, not just jobs in the city, but jobs right here in Sunset Park where we can walk to them. And there's a great place right over there that's dry of opportunity and we will bring that opportunity here in Sunset Park. Seniors want better services. Together we will fight so they can continue to live in dignity and respect. We will fight for them too. We also uh, have to fight for our local businesses and I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because it's one of the most important things. Our small businesses want to succeed. Our small businesses want to succeed. And they are the fabric of this community on Fifth Avenue and in Red Hook and down over by Bay Ridge and the Bay Ridge Towers. These are one of the most important things that we can do to save the fabric of our immigrant, our rich immigrant culture. And we will fight against the Department of Health that continues to unjustly create fines for them. That basta con las, con, con, con las multas. Basta con las multas. And that's what we're gonna say today, and that's what we're gonna say when we're in the city council. And then finally, we are a waterfront community, a proud waterfront community. And we deserve access to that waterfront community. But also that, that, communi that waterfront community brings environmental injustice. And we just experienced over eight months ago one of the most incredible crisis moments in the city. And guess who was there every day helping out this community in Red Hook, where I live today. And I feel so proud to be there with that community, responding every single day, picking up boxes, making sure that people in those houses had all the information, water and food they needed, and we did that as a community. That was not a government response, that was community. And that's the power that this coalition is presenting today. Listen, this, there's so, we are, we are in a moment of major crisis, not just for Sandy-related things, but our education, our small businesses, et cetera, et cetera. 
and so much is at stake in this campaign, which is why I need you. But also, we're going to be making history. And our Mexican-American community has been fighting for so long to be part of the conversation without any representation in the city council. On September, on September 10th, we're going to change that by electing the first openly gay legislator in Brooklyn and the first Mexican-American in the city council. I have to tell you that um, the... The most incredible thing about all of this is that, like my mother who came from Mexico to give me a better life, my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters from China, from Palestine, from Ecuador, from Puerto Rico, from the Dominican Republic, we are in this struggle together. We are in this struggle together as immigrants, as working families. And we are also going to be together in our victories. And I'm so proud to be here before you to announce my bid for city council. And I am here to take this moment of crisis in our leadership in this community and step up. And I hope you can be there with me today. Thank you.